I wish that uh, Beyond the Clouds was watched more. Yeah. Whatever it was, you know, it was good film, bad, whatever. But like, I think it deserved to be seen. It was different. Ten-year-old Ishan is just, uh, yeah, June's ride right, life. With that. Hey guys, my name is Shravansha, and today I'm going to be having a conversation with the super talented Ishan Kattar in the house. What is up? <laughs> How are you doing? I'm good. I'm good. How are you? I am doing great. First of all, congratulations. Thank you. I mean, I watched the show and the kind of reactions that the show has been getting. Uh, Want to ask you this? Was this expected? The kind of reactions that are coming your way? I'm sure the DMs are flooded. Uh, yeah. I mean, it's been uh, it's been lovely. It's been pretty across the board and largely unexpected. Yeah. I, I usually don't expect. Uh, it's better not to. <laughs> Why though? Um, I mean, I guess your priorities and your energies are in the work, and it's also been a long time coming. I finished mm -hmm. shooting for this uh, January earlier this year, mm -hmm. but we shot the bulk of it um, in 2023 March onwards. So we've, oh. we've literally almost finished 90% of the show by July, and then the SAG strike happened, and. So it was delayed a significant amount. So it's been a long time coming, yeah. and I've shot another project since, and I'm starting something else now. And so yeah, I mean, it's just wonderful that it's finally out and people are seeing it. And uh, yeah, you know, secrets out. So. Damn. No, but I I'm gonna actually take you back in time, and I want to know that you know when you were approached for the, did you audition for it? I did. Yeah. Okay. So when things got finally, you know, you were like, tomorrow is my first day of the shoot. Mm. What was Ishan going through back then? Were you nervous, excited? What was the vibe like? Same, same. I mean, honestly, uh, I try to pick projects that give me that nervous energy in general because I feel like if that's not there and if I'm like, yeah, it's just another one bites the dust and another day at work kind of thing, like I'm, I'm scared of that because I think I'll probably be, you know, not driven enough. Yeah. So, of course, this is a milestone in my career, and I think it's a very rare opportunity. I don't think we've seen a young male Indian actor receive a role like this before. So, yeah. from that standpoint, it was, I think it was all the more like important to me, like keep it calm, like just go into it with uh, uh, adequate preparation and uh, open enough that you can play ball. Because I knew I had a fantastic director like Susanna at the helm of it, and. Yeah. Um, and it was an amazing set of people. In fact, my first day of work was the first day of the production. Mm -hmm. It was, um, I think, March 3rd, if I'm not wrong. I still remember the date. And it was even me. It was a scene that, have you seen the show? Yeah, yeah of course. It was a scene that we did in a private jet. If, ah, yeah, yeah. That was the first day of shoot for the project. And mm. um, uh, yeah, it was, uh, it was fun. I mean, she's <laughs> a great actress, so I really enjoyed working with her. Yeah. No, but you did a fab job. Uh, oh, thank you. I really want to ask you this, that, you know, I have, I have literally watched every project that you've been a part of. And the one thing that I can say about you is that you very well know from, knew from day one the kind of actor you want to be. Somewhere with, from your debut till now, okay, do you ever feel that, hey, you know, I should have gotten the kind of vanity that other actors get? Vanity. Yeah. In terms of appreciation. Oh, uh, well, first of all, I think you're overcrediting me. I mean, I, don't, I would. No, I genuinely feel it. I'm not overcrediting you. Thank you for saying that. I appreciate it. But, like, um, I, as far as knowing exactly what kind of actor, I think um, we're all also evolving as people, right? Hmm. So, uh, I definitely knew this much that I wanted to genuinely use this as a platform and medium for self expression and not just. Uh, I was never in it for um, just the fame and the stardom and the clout and the excitement. Yeah. My uh, love for it and my passion for it and my deep, deep desire for it comes from um, wanting to be a storyteller, wanting to be um, somebody who uh, can use this as almost a cathartic experience for self-expression and Above all, this is like the job is empathy, you know, yeah. and, and like it teaches you to be more open as a person. Yeah. And it teaches you to to interact with different characters, different people. If anything, open yourself up a little more and to receiving. Yeah. So um, that's always been my my endeavor. Hmm. 
so i'm really glad that i'm getting opportunities where i that are so diverse where i'm getting to experience these new things because yeah. honestly for the actor the process is something that is uniquely their own once it's out there in the world it's like not even yours yeah okay? that's for true people, that know, is so it's true not even yours anymore so so yeah i've been lucky and i uh, i'm glad as far as vanity is concerned i i don't bother myself with so much with what other people are doing I, yeah I enjoy the work as an audience, but that's all. I, unless I'm working with them, uh, you know how they are or how you know what the dynamics are doesn't affect me. Yeah, yeah. makes sense. What does you spoke about stardom? What does stardom mean to you? What does stardom mean to me? Stardom to me, I think I said this recently. I think it's um, when people can connect to you beyond your character, hmm. and uh, there's something about the actor that. Um, they keep coming back for yeah so um yeah and just charisma i guess makes sense uh today if you sit back and notice ev- the work that you've done okay do you ever feel that hey you know tam i really killed it in this film and probably this film should have gotten the kind of love that it didn't get <coughs> no no <laughs> why because everything has its own destiny i mean really like what's the point of being like uh maybe the closest i came to feeling that was uh, i i i wish that uh, beyond the clouds was watched more yeah uh, because it didn't i think uh, hit a note at the box office in india yeah and um, that to me was but it was my first film and hmm. i was also lucky that i was already working on dhada and i had a you know so i had two very different journeys with those films and it gave me a lot of perspective but uh, yeah i mean I, i it never comes from the space of i really killed it i think people should watch it i think it's more like that film deserved to be watched yeah you know for whatever it was you know it was good film bad whatever but like i think it deserved to be seen it was different but um, every film has its own journey so you know you have to accept it and move on right but the last one coming your way shan yeah. yeah today when you sit back okay uh let's say i met the 10 year old ishan and i told him that you know 18 years down in your line you're going to do a film uh you know you're going to be this mega movie star you're going to be a part of international projects would you believe me 10 year old ishan how what is 10 year old ishan doing <laughs> notorious loaded 10 year old ishan is just uh yaar junj raha hai life ke sath trying to be uh trying to be a big boy so uh, uh, i think it would give a little relief to tell him that like it's all going to be good man yeah. just you know live it up yeah you be a child do your thing so hmm. yeah i mean i always had dreams in my eyes and i was always passionate about this so it's not like it was it would be a great reassuring thing kya re yaar ho gaya kuch to ho gaya No, If but I would be happy enough to know that I'm doing well. I'm enjoying it. Ah, no, but I really want to say this on camera that uh, you are one of those actors who, ever since you entered, there is this, and in a good way, there is this responsibility baggage that you have. That you know, I want to carve a niche for myself. I want to make a name for myself, and it shows with everything that you do, and that's a great thing. I mean, I'm going to as simply put it out there. Your hard work Bro, shows. Uh, so keep you. doing that. Honestly, I'm going to see you super soon. Keep making all of us proud. Keep killing it. Till then, this one is a wrap. Oh, he's back. <laughs>